This is Tom Conrad for Jazz Times at the Belgrade Jazz Festival. When you think of the great autumn jazz festivals of Europe, London and Berlin and perhaps now Milan come to mind. Belgrade, Serbia is not like those places. It has some grand vistas over the Danube and Sava rivers, but much of the city with its brutalist Soviet architecture is gray, austere, and covered in graffiti. But Belgrade has a jazz festival that goes back to 1971. Everyone played here, Miles, Duke, Monk. Between 1991 and 2004, the festival went dark because of the devastating wars in the former Yugoslavia, wars from which Serbia has not yet recovered. The festival started up again in 2005 and has gradually become one of the most important annual jazz events in Eastern Europe. Two things are special about it. The first is the programming. In 2019, the festival's 35th anniversary, the best young Serbian bands performed, like Undeck Tet, a stunning breakthrough large ensemble led by Vladimir Nikolov and Serjan Ivanovic. Some of the hippest projects in Europe appeared. Masse Obara's Quartet from Poland, Henri Texier's Sandwoman from France, Francesco Diodati's Yellow Squeeds from Italy, Mikhail Valny's Trio from Germany, the Alugden Trio from Moscow with haunting singer Tanya Balakurskaya. And the American headliners were well chosen. Charles Lloyd's new quintet, Kindred Spirits, Mingus Big Band, Steve Coleman, Gilad Hexelman. The second special thing about the festival is the vibe. The edgy, gritty energy of Belgrade gets into the music. Ticket prices are kept low. The venues are packed. Audiences are uncommonly young and wildly enthusiastic. In a place like Belgrade, jazz sounds a little different a little more intense, a little more necessary. This is Tom Conrad for Jazz Times from the Belgrade Jazz Festival.